Hi, my name is Ricky. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about uncovering the space between. We have been searching for this knowledge for a very long time and are now discovering that it has been right in front of us all along. Now, the next step in our evolution is the space between, which is greatly needed in the world today. From where we left off in the last video called Freeing Ourselves, we found that in order to free ourselves from our protective primal instincts, we need to step into the space between the constant chatter of the mind. We found that we either let go of this disturbed energy or we do not. That it's very black and white. The only place of peace is the space between. In this video, we delve into what happens if we do fall into disturbed energy. If you fall deep into disturbed energy and get lost in it, if you actually do the things your mind is instructing you to do because of disturbed energy within you, if you do let it out, giving a person a piece of your mind and finding yourself saying things that will affect your life, like eliminating your relationship or your job, you just let it all out saying, I'm not holding this in anymore. When we do this, we allow this disturbed energy to express itself. Once that happens, it's very difficult to stop it from escalating. It now multiplies. It's impossible to let go. Once we do this, we involve other people's feelings. Their heart and their minds are completely entangled in your stuff. Now both egos are going for it and it erupts like a volcano. Now there's even more disturbed energy. What you are doing is taking your disturbed energy, then passing it on, multiplying it and disrupting the energy in others. When you discard your disturbed energy onto others, it is set free and out into the world. It's not only disturbing you, it is now disturbing others and others around you. You now become surrounded by people of similar disruptive energy that will continue to affect your life. Not the best cycle to start. That's how disruptive cycles start and how they continue. We really are not aware of what we're doing or how to handle situations like this and find that it causes so much misunderstanding and upset within all of our relationships. We don't need to be continually concerned about other people's ideas and issues and we don't need to decide who's wrong and who's right. Getting involved in disturbed energy does not dispel that energy, it actually feeds it. We cannot be emotionally attached to someone, anyone, or anything. We cannot depend or expect anything from anyone, no matter who they are. Family, friends, acquaintances, no matter what actions they take or what they do or think, we must be independent and centered in ourselves. But we can come from a place of knowledge, awareness and understanding. We haven't realized or understood how energy really works and how to handle it because we've never been taught or given any outline of what has been disturbing us or how to deal with all of this. We've never stepped in to this unknown area. We have followed every whim, every instruction, 
from our minds and are now ruled by this disturbed energy. This has become habitual in order to protect ourselves. This disturbed energy sends us in circles and completely disrupts our lives. Have you ever heard someone in a dispute say, I'm losing it? What are they losing? They are actually saying they're losing consciousness. For a split second, you actually know that you're about to lose consciousness and move deeper into an argument. Shortly after, when you realize you actually did lose it, then guilt comes in and you're not only angry with the other person, but now you're angry with yourself. At the moment you realized you lost it, that you resisted the present moment, then instead of getting angry with yourself, which means you lost it again, realize that this is just an opportunity to surrender. Consciousness is awakening and this is just a part of the awakening process. The shift to the next step of our evolution. We've become so engrossed in the world of the mind, listening to its every instruction, that we are not even aware of the space between, our seat of consciousness, which I often call the back mind. It's a fascinating journey when we start to understand how energy really works and how we can handle it and use it in our lives. The space between is the space between thoughts, words, feelings and objects. It is the space between the breath, our space of peace and the space of our stillness. Let's step into the peace and harmony of the space between, going deeper and deeper into understanding this forgotten knowledge. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and leave a comment below. I always enjoy hearing from you.